Where you going, Mom? <laughs> so it's raining right now and we're working our way down Pikes Peak Mountain. Doing good. Olympic Training Center and we're about to get our pictures taken first and then we'll start our tour and we'll show as much as we can. The other uh, Olympic Training Center is in Lake Placid, New York. There's a whole slew of Olympic training sites around the country. Um, we got one in North Carolina. We have one in uh, Utah, uh, San Diego, they're all over. So um, those uh, Olympic training centers are not owned by the um, US Olympic Committee, they're owned by someone else, and then we rent out the Olympic rings basically for them to use in their market. So this training center was purchased from the US Air Force in 1978 and moved from New York City here. And we've got a, uh, most of the administrative headquarters stuff is downtown about a mile and a half away. Um, but uh, the US Olympic Committee takes no money from the federal government. Uh, after the 1980 Olympics, we decided we were not gonna take any money from the federal government anymore, and, um, and we would be entirely self-funded um, by you guys. So we've got a whole slew of sponsors left behind me. Uh, we had 10,000 private donations in just 2017 alone. They range from a dollar all the way up to a million dollars. And then you guys spending money on a tour that goes back into the Olympic Training Center as well. So um, we got uh, uh, we, the, the positives of not taking that money are we have way more autonomy. The negatives uh, are we have way, way less money. So you guys are part of our family now, and thank you. Um, with that being said, let's head over towards towards Ted Stevens. Uh, this is one of the newest facilities on the site. Four years old, it cost three and a half million dollars, and used to be where wrestling is, which we'll check out a little bit later. So Ted Stevens is our gym, where all the athletes train at. Um, if uh, you do a winter sport, like myself, uh, you'll be, you can kind of live wherever you want in your off season. So I choose to live in Colorado. There's no track in Colorado, but there is a track in Lake Placid, New York, and Park City, Utah. The gym itself is pretty cool. It's got a, um, track that runs along the left hand side. There are force plates underneath the track and that will tell you how much force you're inputting into the ground as you're running. So it's good for determining if your right leg is stronger than your left leg and how, uh, how basically how powerful you are. It'll also tell you what your flight time is for every step that you take. Um, we also have what's called a tendo unit in here. The Tendo unit is pretty cool in that it attaches to the side of your barbell so that when you're doing um, power cleans or hang cleans, um, you uh, it'll tell you how fast the bar is moving in meters per second. So it'll tell you that, it'll tell you what your max velocity is. Really good for any of those speed or power athletes that are trying to maintain uh, being fast and explosive uh, during the uh, during their exercises. So if you start to slow down below the, your target range, you can take a longer rest time to get back into that target range so that you know that you're moving um, as, as quickly and as fast as possible.
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed your trip with us to Pikes Peak and the Olympic Training Center. And we will catch back up with you tomorrow. Keep chasing your dreams and remember the three L's. Love people, live free, and laugh more. Peace. Peace. Peace.